Hi, Aaron Rabinowitz here for RedGiantTV.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about compositing with light wraps. That is, the effect of compositing the background elements from your shot onto your foreground elements by wrapping light around the subject. The way light from behind you tends to spill over your shoulders, for example. I'm kind of on a compositing kick in that my company, All Bets Are Off Productions, just started offering a new large library of keyed out footage called Crowd Control. So I've been doing a lot of compositing lately, and in doing so, I've been using a lot of light wraps to help sell the effect. Now I've talked about light wraps in another episode of Red Giant TV called Better Compositing Techniques, but as I've begun to use them almost every day, I've come across some problems that sooner or later you're going to have as well. So I wanted to share both the problems and the solutions too. So here I am in After Effects with my basic composite. I've got a background, a character from Crowd Control, and finally a faked shadow, which I'll cover in another tutorial on my company's website at some point later. Now, there is a lot of light coming from behind the actor, and people that are backlit, unless they're also lit from the front purposefully, tend to appear darker than this. I could play with the brightness and contrast, but in actuality, I find that using the Photoshop layer style called satin does a really good job with this sort of thing. So with my layer selected, I'll choose layer, layer styles, satin. Okay, much better. Next, I'll add in the light wrap effect by choosing Effect, Key Correct Pro, Light Wrap. Now, if you aren't aware of Key Correct Pro, it's a great set of tools for After Effects and Final Cut Pro that'll really help you in the pre keying and post keying process. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that it's an essential tool set for the compositing artist, full of some incomparable stuff for cleaning up your video before keying and cleaning up the alpha channel afterwards. And it also includes a few tools such as Lightwrap for really helping to create a convincing composite. Anyway, as I covered in that earlier tutorial on compositing, I'll go into the effects panel and I'll set the background layer pull down to my background footage. You can always play with the settings for width and blurriness if needed, but for the most part, this is doing what I needed to do. But now that I look at it, I see a problem. The light wrap is coming around this fellow's feet. In fact, they appear to glow a little as the light wraps around them. That's not good. So let me show you a way to fix this. In the effects panel, set the operation to wrap only. This shows only the light wrap but not the original footage. But don't worry, we'll get our guy back soon enough. Next, we want to add in a linear wipe effect. That's a transition that wipes away a layer from left to right or top to bottom or whatever direction you want. So with the actor footage still selected, choose Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe. Now before we do anything else with this effect, I'm going to add in the effect called CC Composite to bring back our footage in combo with the light wrap. I'll do that by choosing Effect, Channel, CC Composite. The CC Composite effect is a really cool effect, and by that I mean you're not going to impress anybody by putting that in your demo reel. Uh, no one's going to say, wow, that is an excellent use of CC Composite. But it allows us to take layer effects and recomposite them with our original footage. And that can save you from a lot of problems. More on why we need that here in a few moments. Next, in the effects panel, I'll make sure to set RGB only to off, which brings back the full alpha channel of our original footage. And I'll also go into the composite original pull down and I'll set it to add which composites the effect on the original footage using the Add Blending mode. You can try other modes as well, such as Screen. All right, we're back to where we started. Good. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see what's happening here. Next, I'll go into the Effects panel, and in the Linear Wipe effect, I'll set the wipe angle to 0 degrees to create a bottom to top wipe, and then I'll set the transition completion up until I see the bottom of our light wrap disappear. Then I'll play with the feather property to fade the transition. And there you go. I want to point out that the reason I went through the whole CC composite thing was that without it, there would be no way to keep the light wrap effect on the same layer as our footage. The linear wipe effect would have made the footage disappear at the bottom. 
The only other way to fix that would have been to create a duplicate layer, one for the effect and one for the original footage, which we would then have to composite together. And of course, doubling your keyed footage would have created more processor overhead, especially if it were high definition footage. By adding in the CC composite effect, we're able to recomposite our original footage with the effects in a way that keeps us from having to do that. It's a great tool that can be used in many cases where you'd normally need to separate out the effects onto different layers. One final thing, and that's color. Our dude here is wearing red, and it's quite strong in color compared to the background. So with the actor selected, I'll choose Effect, Color Correction, Hue and Saturation, and then in the Effects panel, I'll set the Master Saturation property to negative 40. Now, you could also try and isolate just the reds and pull the saturation out from there, but in this case, it didn't really matter. All in all, I think this looks pretty good. But there are other issues that you may encounter in dealing with light wraps as well. For example, if you move the layer, the wrap doesn't change to reflect the fact that it's over a different part of the background. You see, the wrap is calculated based on the default size and position of the layer versus the background. Consequently, the only way to properly place, rotate, or scale the layer, or to animate its transformations, is to pre-compose the layer and its non-default transformations or animation first. So you'd set your transformations or transformation keyframes, and then you'd choose Layer, Pre-Compose. Just make sure to use the option called Move All Attributes. I won't get into the whole concept of nesting and pre-composing here, because I cover them in a two-part tutorial, which you can find at Creative Cow or on my website. And the truth is that, in general, when working with light wraps, you'll almost always want to pre-compose everything ahead of time. That's because, in addition to the issues of foreground object placement, which we've discussed, the background's transformations are also not taken into account. So if you were to scale down the background and use it in a light wrap, the light wrap sees the background at its original size, not the smaller version. Transformations are ignored. So ideally, for a successful light wrap, you want your subject footage and background to be the same size. And the best way to ensure that is to pre-compose both elements in separate compositions that are the same size. This way, After Effects sees them at the size at which you are working. Anyway, in your main composition, select your actor footage and then apply your light wrap effect. And there you go. The wrap now updates to reflect that change in position. At this point, you can add the other fixes that we discussed, such as the linear wipe or the color correction that we did. Okay, I guess that wraps it up. Ugh, I was trying so hard not to make a bad joke or a pun in this one. What can you do? Well, let me make it up to you. Just for watching this tutorial, we're going to give you a discount on KeyCorrect Pro. Go to redgiantsoftware.com forward slash promos to get this and other special Red Giant TV deals. Now these are time sensitive discounts. They won't last forever. All coupon codes expire seven days from the launch date of each tutorial. So again, go to redgiantsoftware.com forward slash promos to get the coupon codes for the most current Red Giant TV deals. Once again, I'm Alan Rabinowitz for redgianttv.com. See you next time.